Hello, YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. Sorry again for the camera being all shaky, but this is sort of a raw format of the review. Now, I got here today a package. Now, this is something for review purposes. And I opened it previously. So, without further ado, show you guys what I got in the mail today. Now, this is for the TotalGamer.com review. This is going to be for a podcast as well as a blog post for our front page. Uh, to tell you a little bit more about our, our what we do for reviews, this is basically, you know, just another part of the day for reviewing for us. So, we're going to show you what we got in the mail today. And, to save you guys some time, this is basically what it is, a Bragg FX. It's the FX Controller version 2.0 with, uh, well, it basically has an FPS rapid fire feature on this as well. Now, these go for like $69.99 retail, as I have seen on a couple websites. I have not seen too many of these on in stores, but I got this in the mail. I opened this up just to open up the box, make sure everything was inside of it, and that was about it. But showing you guys the retail box, it's basically black, very nice, simple design, which, you know, for a company that's basically just showing uh, an improvement, to keep it simplified as well as show the advantages of this controller, which I thought was a pretty cool idea as well. They explain everything. It basically, it tells you it has a firmware upgradable. It tells you it has an analog swap abilities. It tells you it has programmable motion override. It also tells you it has PS2 game support on PS3. So you can basically play PS2 games with this controller on your PS3 if you have the older PS3 models like the 20 gig and so on. Um, it just plug and play. It also has faster and more accurate as they would say and all games supported. An optical mouse for more accuracy and control which for the previous version 1 I felt like I was control anyway with that because you know it was the, the first model is a white controller with a mouse and it's you know obviously a little bit more on the sides of you know sort of like a prototype I would consider it but this copy right here I'm looking at it and it looks quite nice I like the black sleek interior just on the box alone I basically just opened up the box rather than just you know pull it out I just looked inside real quickly and some, some slide out of it because when I opened up the box this was open the flap was open because I'm guessing that I don't know but anyway let's show you guys what the product looks like now I'm not going to give you a full review right now I gotta obviously take this and review it then take down all the notes I can then basically we'll be all set so as I can feel from this this is feels quite nice it's nice and big versus the predecessor this is the mouse pad used for the mouse for this product. Um, this product comes with two manuals, one Spanish and the other one, I think it's Spanish, Francis, and as well as English. So, again, pretty cool. Nice and big, so because a lot of people are complaining about the old one being too small for them. But, taking this project, or this product out, rather, pardon me, I'm going to take this out and get a feel for it so it has the gauge or the control for sensitivity from the previous controller which gauge the sensitivity for the mouse which I thought was pretty cool this has a micro feature it has a select feature it has a PS slash mouse mode and the F button now if you press the button right here you would activate a rapid fire mode on your controller so you can just go with the uh, rapid fire with the controller that's what I read up about this thing but I gotta obviously take this and do some more review sensitivity with it but again this is a really look nice looking controller I like the way it looks overall just by looking at it it visually looks sturdy now you know it has a nice buttons look nice very impressive so far Obviously, I gotta get in here again and give this beast a spin. 
but overall these got split fish from what I've seen here they listened ideally to the customers satisfaction uh, reports or their reports for that matter so again I got to give obviously a full review for this and that's going to be on the totalgamer.com uh, you heard it here first and take it easy folks thank you guys so much for watching